Chicle. Welcome to Chicle Chat. I'm Alex Gum, aka Chicle. And welcome to Pokemon Go 101, another Pokemon Go edition. If you haven't checked out the Mewtwo episode, if you haven't checked out the Mewtwo episode, be sure to check it out in the link in the description below. We're going to specifically talk about Ho Oh, the mascot of Pokemon Gold, the opposing legendary of Lugia. This is a fire flying type Pokemon. And this thing is not appearing in the game yet. We thought it was going to happen August 14th, but it's Mewtwo instead. So, when is this bird going to come out? We don't know. Are we going to plan ahead to see how we catch Ho-Oh? Yes, we are. We're going to focus on its movesets, stats, and encounters, kind of like how we did in the last episode. Let's discuss about those things. So pay attention. Note that I said Ho-Oh, not Moltres. Don't be stupid. Let's talk about its stats and CP. Mostly CP because I'm not really good at breaking down stats in general. When you're basically fighting the boss raid, the smack CP is going to be obviously 55,251. That is a lot. And you thought it was going to be difficult to see a 40,000. It's a different story. Then for capture CP, the max that we can possibly get is 2657, more or less. Mostly less because this is max. And then max CP in general, 4650. I just got this off the internet. I don't know if any of these are true, but it, let's say that this is all true, okay? You need to get more than seven people because it usually takes around five to seven people to take out a Moltres, easiest pie. But considering the fact that a fire flying type with this kind of the CP, you're gonna need a lot. Definitely gets fit like 15 or 20, mostly 15. Now before we talk about Ho-Oh's movesets, let me remind you one last time that Ho-Oh is a fire flying type. Like Moltres, but Ho-Oh. Like Moltres, like Ho-Oh. Let's talk about its quick moves and its charge moves. For quick moves, extra sensory, psychic type. For steel wing, steel type. Okay? For charge moves, brave bird, flying type move, fire blast. Fire, obviously because of the name of the move. And then... Remember this, take notes, Solar Beam Grass type. Remember this. Alright, now we're going to be talking about the Pokemon that will be good for encountering. Or at least the best so far. Mostly Rock, Electric, and Water types. Let's break it down. Golem, Rock Throw, and Stone Edge. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing with Tyranitar except Bite because it doesn't learn any Rock type fast quick moves. Now, for Omastar, Rock Throw and Rock Slide. It is part Rock, part part rock, part water, you know, the combination, right? Then you also have your electric types. Jolteon and Zapdos are probably the two best ones. Zapdos, because it's a legendary Pokemon, and basically almost every move that it learns, actually every move, doesn't matter, it's all electric. So make sure that you have anything electric type. For Jolteon, same thing, but make sure it has Thunder Shock and Thunderbolt. If it has Thunder, that's totally fine. Then your water types. You've got Vaporeon and Gyarados and Omastar. We already talked about Omastar. Gyarados doesn't learn any fast water moves, but it does learn Hydro Pump, so just best to use Dragon Tail for its fast moves because it's a Dragon type move. Then we have Vaporeon, Water Gun, and Hydro Pump. Make sure it doesn't learn Ice Beam or anything non-water type related. I dropped my stick again. Now let's talk about the moves that Ho-Oh learns. Remember I said you guys gotta remember them? Yeah, this is a problem because it has one fast move that can screw things up if you don't dodge. And that's Steel Wing. That will affect Golem, Tyranitar, and Omastar. Done. And then we also have its powerful moves. One of which is Solar Beam. One, two, three, four, five of your Pokemon cannot stand a chance against Solar Beam. In addition of Omastar being four times weak because it's both rock and water. Crud. Oh, and so is Golem for, uh, you know, Solar Beam too because it's part rock and ground so that means you have two pokemon that's four times weak to this one gyarados is a water flying type so with solar beam i guess it's kind of okay i keep throwing my stick zapdos and jolteon should be fine especially with steel wings since the electric types have good defense over steel type moves but overall this is the best set that you guys can be able to use this is the best pokemon that you can possibly get just dodge when there's a solar beam and just dodge anything you know kind of like with the whole focus blast situation with mewtwo same thing, just, just be aware. If you have like six Zapdoses, then you're golden. <laughs> Get it? Gold? Golden? Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. Now before we end this video, be sure to give this a like because one, I spent so much time with this. Two, 
I spent forever on that Pokemon logo. And number three, because I have a master's degree in this whole experience that I'm qualified to teach Pokemon Go 101. This is not a master ball, this is a master's degree. And be sure to subscribe to Chiclay Productions for more dance videos, more Chiclay chat vlogs, more Chiclay news entertainment, and more videos to come. Also, Chiclay Productions has its own Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. So if you guys haven't yet, be sure to like and follow for more content. That is all the time I have for today. I'm Alex Gum, aka Chiclay. I'll see you guys next time.